There are some isolating tools that are able to detect the edge of an item automatically, but in this particular case, when the contrast between the item and the background is so low, we might want to help these automatic algorithms. I'm going to increase the contrast manually on a separate layer, which I've just created by pressing Ctrl J on the keyboard. Then I'll access the curves window via the Ctrl M shortcut. The eyedropper tool becomes active and I can see how certain areas of the image are reflected on the graph by clicking on the image and holding the mouse button. The circle that appears on the graph shows the respective color. After checking the boot color and the background color and seeing their respective locations on the histogram, I've come to the conclusions that there is some difference between them. This difference can be enhanced by increasing the contrast between the respective areas. Now I'll click on the line in the place where, as I believe, the divider is situated. Let's see if it works. I'll click next to it and drag the curve up, thus making the boot become darker and the white fur become lighter. Now you can see that the boot is much better separated from the background, so let's apply these changes. The other step in helping Photoshop to detect the edge correctly will be showing where the edge is located, approximately of course. By the way, some areas of the boot do not need any advanced edge detection at all. Look at the heel and the toe, they can be easily selected with the quick selection tool. So I'm gonna do it straight away and store this part of the image in a separate layer for later use. As for the rest of the boot, I'm going to make a crude selection with the pen tool. The path doesn't have to be very accurate, the trick here is not to include the background in the selection. After placing the last point, I'll press Ctrl-Enter to turn the path into a selection. Now it's time for the Photoshop's advanced isolating techniques to do their part. Do you remember the Select and Mask feature from the previous videos? Yes, this is exactly what we need. Well, almost. Problem is that the new Select and Mask algorithm works much worse than its previous embodiment, which is called the Refine Edge, and which has disappeared from the Photoshop starting from CC 2015. Good thing is that it has just disappeared from the panels, but has not gone completely. You can still access it by holding Shift and clicking on the Select and Mask command in the Select menu. It will open the Refine Edge instead. Now I'm going to use the Smart Radius feature, which will help me to detect the edge automatically. So I'll tick the Smart Radius first, and then I will enter some value in the Radius input window. In this case it has to be quite big, something like 70. Ok, now we're good, let's apply the changes. Now we have the furry part selected, and we'll see if it's a worthy selection or not. But first let's add our heel and toe to the selection as well. To do so, I'm going to click on the layer with the toe and heel part while holding Ctrl and Shift. Now I don't need any of these layers, so let's just delete them both. Now it's worth checking if the selection is good or not by switching to the quick mask mode. If there are any parts inside the boot you've missed, the mask can be easily corrected with the brush or with the quick selection tool or even with the marquee tool if you switch back to the normal mode. Ok, on to the next step. To isolate our boot, I will invert the selection I've made by pressing Ctrl Shift I and fill the background with the white color by pressing Ctrl Backspace. Now when I zoom the image to 100%, you can see for yourself that the result is quite astonishing for something achieved in a couple of minutes. 